bring a condition upon someone in a helpless state. It means to bring a condition of inactivity. It means to bring inability to act. I'm going to read it again. It means to bring a condition upon someone of helplessness. Yeah. It means to bring a condition of inactivity. It means to bring an inability to act. Y'all got to help me. Amen. See, there's a common denominator across all these definitions. They all said to bring. Mm -hmm. To bring. Mm -hmm. To bring. And the last time I checked, somebody had to bring this situation that has to be brought upon. And I, I have to be careful because uh, this that means that this situation existed and was given to you, whether you welcomed it or not. Somebody had to receive it. My mama had to tell me, she said, the devil can't come into your house unless he's invited. Now, somebody can bring the devil to your door, but unless you receive it, they can't cross that threshold. Y'all need to be with me. Well, I, I, I need somebody to help me. Why is it that we've got people in our lives with mixed spirits? And we wonder how they got there was because you mm -hmm. brought them there. Yes, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Amen. Oh, we don't want to know about that. They're so and so nice. They all right. I'm, I'm preaching to myself. I hope y'all get a word. Uh, they nice. They all right. They just need a word. They need a positive influence. Uh, uh, they need this. But sometimes we bring situations upon themselves and find out that it affects our assignment. Mm -hmm. So here we are in this situation again. And the, the, the man, the man, the man, the man, he is paralyzed. This is a man that knew the miracles of Jesus. Now watch this. The thing that got me was that the man couldn't get the front door. Y'all, can y'all help me? Amen. He couldn't get through the front door. Mm. How many times your miracle's been at the front door? But because you got cluttered with so oh, much stuff Jesus. that you can't get your miracle Ooh. through the front door. Y'all y'all need to tell me Ooh, something. Jesus. Come on, somebody. Uh, I got to do this. Well, who said you got to do this? I, I got to do that. I got to do this. And you're doing all these different things, but nothing has anything attached mm -hmm. to your miracle. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And we find ourselves running rapid ourselves crazy when we realize that we don't have time for the things of God because we're taking time of the things that suck out the energy out of us. Amen. And so when it's Amen. time for the miraculous work, if it's Amen. time for the assignment, and it's time to receive the blessing, we too tired to receive it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. And so here it is that this paralyzed man is trying to come through the door. Now watch this, watch this, watch this. I believe spiritually that this paralyzed man was not physically paralyzed, mm. but mentally and emotionally paralyzed. All right. The reason is, is that in verse 5, Jesus told the man that his sins were forgiven. Mm -hmm. But if you look in the other Gospels, if you read about Jesus' miraculous power, when he was healing somebody, he said, you are healed, get up and walk. You are healed, thou shalt see. But he said to this man, your sins are forgiven. This, this says something to me. Because if it was a physical infirmity, then he would have healed him and said, you are healed. But he said, your sins are forgiven. This helps me to think that possibly the thing that's causing him from moving forward in his life is that he has guilt from his past. Mm. Guilt from bad choices he's made. Thinking that he's not worthy enough to step into his anointing. Not worthy enough of stepping into his destiny and therefore is paralyzed in his life and cannot move forward. Come on, Have you ever felt paralyzed because you felt that you weren't worthy? Oh. You ever felt paralyzed because you thought you weren't good enough? Have you ever felt uh, uh, paralyzed because you thought uh, that you weren't qualified for the job? I got news for you. Your sins have been forgiven. God says I swept it. I don't have it no more. It's in the sea. It's all forgetfulness. I don't know what you're talking about. You better walk. Pick up your mat 
and walk. Thank you, Jesus. And see, the, the problem is, is that, let's go back to the, the house party. See, Jesus had the original house party. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Y'all, they had house party one, two, three, I think even four. But he had the original. See, this was house party, the prequel. Stop playing. And, and, and see, what happened was, this is house party BC. And what happened was, when he had everyone in the house, not everybody was looking for a miracle. They were sitting up Jesus churching. He had teachers from synagogues who were hating on him because they couldn't find anywhere written. Where does it say what you saying? Why you got so see Jesus was a little bit popular. Lord help me. See his status came because he told the truth. And people didn't like that. Ain't nobody coming to my church. They coming to your church. I, I want to find out what it is that you saying so I can say that it's wrong. I want to find out what it is that you're doing so I can say it's wrong. And so the house was not filled with followers. It was filled with spectators. Mm. 